Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about finding this limit of x times the floor function of x. And so the first example that we are going to show here is that we have x approaching a non-zero integer. So I picked the number 5. There is nothing special about the 5, you can pick any other non-zero integers. And we are going to get a similar result. Okay, so first we are going to just consider the left side limit. So we are going to have x approaching uh, 5 from the left side and then we are just going to look at just the floor function and because x is approaching 5 from the left side so we are getting something like 4.9 so you know that this would be x that is less than 5 right so what happened is that when we find the limit we are going to get the greatest integer that is less than whatever number that we plug into x and so we are going to get the 4 here and then so we also need to take the limit of this this x right here so we are going to just look at that we have x um, approaching 5 on the left side and then we just look at the x right here and so what do we get here we are just going to get 5 okay so now because both limits exist then we can actually put them together so if we put them together here then what happened is that the two-sided limit no actually we are talking about still the one-sided limit here but when we multiply them together we get x times the floor of x right and so what do we get here it's actually four times five right so we get four times five which will give us the number 20. okay so that's that's one of them And then the next step, the next step is that we are going to consider the right side limit here. So we are going to just to take the limit of as x approaching 5 on the right side and then the floor function of x. And then here what happened is that we are having something that is greater than 5 as you can see here. Okay, what happens when we have something that's greater than 5 and plug into that, then we are going to get the greatest integer that is less than this x here so we are just going to get five and then so what happened is that um, we also need to do the other one the other one is really just a trivial answer here so we're just going to get five for this one right because x is approaching five so we just get five and then so as you can see putting them together because we are finding the product right so we are going to get x approaching five on the right side and then x times the floor function of x, we get 5 times 5. Okay, so those two numbers. And then we are going to get 25. Okay, so we get 25, right? And so because the left side limit and the right side limits are not equal to each other, okay, so what happens? Then we are going to say that this does not exist. Because those are not equal. So we can say that those two are not equal okay next problem so this time we are going to find the limit of the same function but we are going to let x approach a non-integer okay so this one as you can see that's not an integer and there was again there was nothing special about this like the 2.3 so you can pick other numbers and so what happened is that we are going to use the same idea here we are going to just take the limit Okay, so we take the limit of the floor function first, and then it will be a one-sided limit again. So x approaching negative 2.3 from the left side, and then we are just going to look at this. Now, because x is approaching negative 2.3 from the left side, it will be less than this number, and so it will be close to this number. So we can actually just say that, okay, um, the greatest integer that will be less than this number would be negative 3. So that's... The limit and then we also would have x approaching negative 2.3 from the left side and then we just find the limit of the x which is still just negative 2.3 and so now putting them together what happens we are going to have the the product right so negative 2.3 from the left side and then we just multiply those two together so using the limit laws we can have negative 3 times well, actually, I should put negative 2.3 first, right? So we get negative 2.3 and then times negative 3. And then what do we get here? We are going to get positive 6.9. Okay, so that's the limit. That's the one-sided limit. And then now we are going to deal with the other one. So we are going to take the limit as x approaching 
lay the 2.3 from the right side of the floor function. And so now for this one, actually we are gonna get the same result as you can see here, right? Because that is still the largest integer that will be less than um, something that is close to like the 2.3. And then now doing the other one, x approaching like the 2.3 from the right side and then the x, that would just give me the same answer as before. So now, the right side limit of x times the floor function of x, and that would be like the 2.3 and then times like the 3. And so we are going to get 6.9. And do you see what's going on here? Those two numbers are equal, right? Because they're equal, then what can we say about the two-sided limit? Then it will be, it will exist and then it will be equal to the same number. So we have this limit to be equal to 6.9. Okay, one more limit problem here. We are going to let x approach zero this time. So we are still going to follow the same process. So let x be approaching zero from the left side. And then we are going to find the limit of the floor function first. And so because x is approaching zero from the left side, so that means x is less than zero. So what happened is that we are going to pick the largest integer that will be less than something that is approaching zero and is less than zero. So that would be the one. And then, so now finding the limit of x, then we are just going to get the limit to be zero. So now putting those two together, right? And then we have the limit of the product of those two functions. And then we have zero times negative one, which will be zero. So we get, just get zero as the limit. And then now this time we are going to figure out the right hand limit. So when we let X approach zero from the right, and then we are going to find the floor function. So let's take a look at this. So we have X approaching zero from the right. And then, so that means X is greater than zero. So what happens is that we are going to have something that's greater than zero. So the largest integer that will be less than something that's greater than zero would just be zero here. So that's that. And so that's easy. And then the next one, next one again is trivial. So X is approaching zero. So the limit of X would just be zero. And so now putting those together, so when we have x from um, approaching zero from the right, and then the product of the two functions would be approaching zero times zero, so we just get zero here. So now because those two numbers are equal, then what happens? Then we are going to say that our two-sided limit also exists and then is equal to zero. So we are finished. Okay, so thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.